the margins to the center in the church and in the world, great energy and joy are unleashed. I grew up as a foreign immigrant kid. I was always a bit on the margins and I felt an outsider. And when my call to ministry began to become evident in college, I had had no women mentors, no models. I'd never seen a woman preside at an altar or heard one preach until I was in seminary. Not surprising, perhaps, that I was drawn to ministry with outsiders and those who cross boundaries and cultures. Through all the 80s, I worked as a hospital chaplain, an AIDS community organizer, and an advocate for inclusion of the spectrum of human sexuality in our church. Segway 1988, the Massachusetts Episcopal election. The first women were candidates, and I was part of the women's caucus that interviewed all of them. None of us were sure that Barbara Clementine Harris is a woman as black, as one whose background had been in corporate America, not a cardinal rector, had a chance. Election day, packed into the cathedral in Boston with those old box pews, people lobbying in huddled groups, excitement growing through several ballots, and suddenly she was elected, wild cheering, and we disbelieved for joy. Well, after a difficult consent process, death threats to Barbara, 8,500 of us jammed into the convention center for the consecration, and there was gospel music, and there was a sea of red vestments and banners, there were 60 bishops, presiding Bishop Ed Browning at the altar with our mothers, Florence Lee Tim Oy and Carter Hayward at his side. To me, as a priest, it felt like my wedding day extraordinary. It, she incarnated women's full inclusion in the church, finally <coughs> with all our gifts welcome. A year before that, in my collar, going off to a pastoral call in Boston, a man stepped in front of me in the street, spat in my face, and called me an effing Jezebel. But now, floating down the snow-covered Huntington Avenue with another woman in a collar beside me, two young women ran up to us and they said, we're Jewish, but we just want to say, we are so excited about your woman bishop. We are so proud of you. We think the world has changed. And we all hugged and disbelieved for joy. I want to say to you, don't be afraid. Reach out. Bring the margins to the center. Amazing joy and energy will be unleashed for our church.